Hello everybody, this is Cryptic Nexus, and today I have something a little odd. So, I originally uploaded this video that you're watching to my Mac channel, because the drive, or the enclosure that I am unboxing here, is a more Mac-oriented drive, but as you can see on the box, it says Mac and PC. PC can use it, but it is in my thinking a more Mac oriented drive but anyways I'm uploading it here because this is my product review um, unboxing thing so I wanted to share this product with you guys because it is a fabulous product and sadly it's being discontinued so if you do like this video you probably should go and uh, or do like the product, go look at it and see what you think. Because for forty dollars, it's a very awesome product. Anyways, this is going to be the extended version of the unboxing. The shortened version is on my other channel because in this video, I cut out my explanation of buying the drive and the reasoning for buying it. So hopefully you enjoy the extra content that is on this channel. But again, or not again, if you have any issues, please let me know down in the comments below. Enjoy the video. I got an unboxing. <clears throat> so this came in the mail today and it is an uh, elephant to go. It is a drive enclosure, a two and a half inch drive enclosure from oh, Other World Computing. And I was going to do an unboxing and I will do a speed test on it. Uh, damn it. My eye keeps itching. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open it up. So this is how it come. It came in a baggie. And then this was in the bag. So let's go ahead and take off the sheath. And open it up. So we have a destruction manual. Which basically goes, look at all of the ports. So, here's the unit itself, set that to the side, and underneath the little cardboard insert we have some screws for the mounting of the hard drive. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and open all these up. So this is a Firewire 400 cable, there you go. So that's Firewire 400 to 400. Then we have USB 2 uh, mini USB, not micro. And then we have an empty box. So let's throw that to the side and then there we go. There is the Firewire 800 port. Now let's open this thing up. So as you see, it's a very stylish uh, enclosure, aluminum, and uh, has an elephant, and there's all the ports. So we'll go from this side over, uh, sorry I'm trying to frame it up backwards. So this is a Firewire 400, this is Firewire 8, Firewire 8, USB 2, an on-off switch, so there's just a little toggle switch slides back and forth, and a 5 volt USB additional power. They don't include this because most people will probably be using it for FireWire, not USB, but USB it does have enough power, um, but some drives do require more. 
so they added the additional power supply jack so you can hook additional power to it so let me grab a screwdriver here and open it up got a big enough screwdriver I was just working on a computer so it was the first thing that was right next to me alright so let's see so ah that's nice so it has a little slide out Ugh. oh yeah nasty so it has a little slide out tray and yeah that's really it nothing too major I was hoping I could pull out the PCB but uh, ooh. yeah I don't see a way to pull it out easily So I'm not going to break it. So anyways, there is the hard drive adapter, plug, so your SATA power and data. And that's it. So I'm going to put a hard drive in here and do some benchmarking of well kind of test the speeds out between 400 well 800 and USB 2 which we know who will win what will win that uh, yeah USB 2 haha <laughs> now Firewire 800 will win um, and then I also am going to test the 400 so I bought this so I could still use some of my old Macs. So I have a dual core 800 uh, Quicksilver, a 2002 Quicksilver down in my basement in my office. And it has FireWire 800. I have a Mac, uh, iMac lampshade, I think 700 and 50 megahertz, 25 megahertz, I don't remember, in my bedroom, and it has a FireWire 400. So it's just, so I can still transfer large files off of those computers onto my modern computers very easily. And it also is so I can use my modern computers, uh, US. Our, uh, sorry, FireWire 800. So, my Mac Mini and my MacBook Pro have Thunderbolt, but Thunderbolt is just so expensive for what you get. Like, yes, the drive is fucking phenomenal, but if you're not writing to an SSD, it kind of doesn't make sense. Since I'm going to be writing to a platter drive, FireWire 800 is going to be fast enough, and so I'm going to use this as a mobile scratch disk, or, well, not really a scratch disk, but a uh, write drive for when I do uh, my video game footage, and then when I go to work, I can take this drive and my MacBook and edit all my videos while at work. That way I don't have to use my MacBook to capture the footage and edit it at work like I currently do. I can actually use my Mac Mini, what it was bought for. Uh, yeah, this is an 8 minute video. I might make a condensed version. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful evening.